Today I'm going to show you how anybody, regardless of the budget, can grill in their house, dorm, apartment, it don't matter, for under 15 bucks. So today I got a special treat for you folks. Me and Sassy were getting our steps in, walking the neighborhood, just trying to take care of the old ticker and waistline. And we stumbled upon a estate sale at a recently deceased uh, neighborhood friend. And we decided to take a look. Now, being a guy and I like tools, I headed off to the garage and lo and behold, look what I found. All right, what we got here is a Utico Broilmaster oven broiler model OB400. It's a 1,050 watt UL listed made in USA broiler oven, guys. Check this out. Now, to most of you guys, this is just kind of junk, made in the 60s, you know, but to me, this is golden, guys. So I've got really awesome memories growing up in the 70s and 80s, and as a little kid visiting my grandpa's house, he used to make some awesome grilled hot dogs with cheese, toasted buns. He would do them up so effortlessly, we kid, us kids were amazed. How did he do it? with one of these bad boys. Before we get started, I'm gonna give it a really good inspection. Now, I've already plugged it in before I bought it. Everything worked, and now all I gotta do is, is clean it up and give it a try. I'm taking you along with us. Okay, guys, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be using Super Clean, this Tough Task Cleaner degreaser. Um, now, there may not be a lot of grease left on this unit, but uh, you never know. Um, but I definitely wanna kinda of give it a good disinfecting, kinda of check it out and uh, make sure it looks pretty good. All right, so one thing I was slightly disappointed about is it didn't come with the, uh, the handle um, that is used to grab a hold of this tray here and pull it out, because I know this thing must get really hot, okay? Um, so um, now it may look uneven, but that's actually the table surface. Now the, the tempered glass looks pretty good. The little screen printing on here looks really nice. Um, I actually got this for 10 bucks, uh, not the $12 sticker here, but you know, get rid of that. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Just typical signs of wear and tear. You know, the chrome isn't the best I've ever seen, but hey guys, this thing's uh, from the 60s, so uh, not bad for a 60 year old uh, relic. Okay, let's check the inside here. Okay, well, now I like the fact that the coil is intact and all these little insulator uh, devices are still intact. Nothing appears to be hanging loose um, and there's no metal on metal and uh, I like what I see right now um, and no major signs of corrosion, so that's good. Um, definitely a vintage plug. Now what's unique about this now there's a three prong doodad here and when you put it up on the broil side that's going to give you that full broil power there okay but for baking you're just going to go on this side and then you're going to actually get temperature now i'm not really sure how well this keeps temperature honestly guys i may uh i don't even care i'm really doing this for one thing and that's for broiling hot dogs guys so I already know that it works. So, um, you know, I've already checked here um, this cord for any fraying wires that might be visible. Um, but I think all in all, it's uh, fairly, fairly intact. All right, guys, here we go. It cleaned up really well. I only had to use a little bit of that super clean degreaser, mainly on that non-stick cooking pan that's underneath that little grate. Came out really good, nice and spick and span. I like what I saw. Now guys, I'm only in this thing for 10 bucks, guys. Now I was gonna use some foil over that grill grate, but you know what I decided to use is these grill mats from Grillaholics. Now they come in packages of two, so I, I decided to cut one down and fit it right to the top of that grill. That way it's reusable, it's nonstick, and I don't have to use aluminum foil. 
So I don't have the tool that came with this to grab a hold of this grilling pan. So I'm going to use these grill gloves from Grillaholics. To grab them just like that. They're rated up to uh, bejesus temperatures and it's going to work out great. All right, guys. So for lunch, we're going to keep it simple. I've decided to use a hot link that I had, a basic hot dog bun, and you could use American cheese or Velveeta. You decide. But that's it, guys. All right, guys, it's only been a couple minutes since I've uh, put that hot link in there. Now, this top here gets pretty hot. Now, I'm not sure how hot, but I'm definitely guessing around 400 degrees. Uh, I might hit it with the laser here in a little bit, but uh, it's definitely enough to char that uh, bun a little bit once it gets, uh, you're allowed to get it really hot. So I recommend warming this oven up probably for about five minutes uh, before you go putting everything in if you intend to use the lid or the top as a bun warmer like I do. Now, check it every once in a while, flip it over, kind of do one of them little doodads. But trust me guys, this works. Now let's check the status of that dog really quick. Not bad guys, you can kind of see what's going on there. You know what they say guys, if you're looking you ain't cooking, except for these little broilers here sometimes you got to check it make sure you're not burning stuff you know because there's there's no temperature gauge and it's really hard to get an to read in there and you got to pull that uh shelf out to really get a good look at what you're doing Okay guys, don't be like me. Make sure you got a good handle on that drip pan when you're pulling it out. Looks like that tool that originally came with these things might be the best bet for pulling that pan out when you got to flip a uh, dog or something that's on there. It kind of leaned over and that grill mat that I cut, it ran off instead of going down into the pan. So lessons learned, I'm going to use a perforated grill mat next time. guys that was an interesting experience you know i definitely can't do it like my old granddad harry could whip up these uh cheese dogs and because he had an assembly line going and he had all the tricks it was the first time i've ever used one of those little broilers and uh yeah it's a little awkward at first let me tell you it doesn't have all those little modern improvements like uh, thermostats and all kinds of other handles and timers and safety on offs just, just all the conveniences that you take for granted, those things are just either on or off. That's about it. But let me tell you. Hmm. No. <laughs> All right, guys. I would say the only thing missing here is maybe a charcoal grill. Guys, if you live in an apartment, a dorm, you don't have a backyard, you don't have a balcony where you can put a grill. Get yourself at one of these little broilers. Now, the modern ones, much more efficient, obviously. A little bit more compact. And they're maybe even safer. But for 10 bucks, man, this is a good deal. Now, you can find these on eBay. Probably a little bit more because they're collectible. You know, I don't know who collects these things. But 
you know, they're usually a little bit more polished up. But if you look around, you can find these old broil boilers pretty cheap. Just a little word of caution. Make sure you unplug them when you're done with them. Store them in a safe place and do a quick safety check before you use something old and vintage like this. But otherwise, it provides a really fierce, hot broil to get that sear and that delicious flavor out of almost anything, at least this hot link right here. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this show. Be sure to subscribe and hit a like thumbs up and comment down below what you think um, and what you would do differently. Obviously, if I cook on this again, I'll probably do it a little differently. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Time to kick you out. See you later.